President Obama, as I'm sure you know, signed legislation on January 2nd of this year, temporarily addressing that so-called federal budget fiscal cliff. We heard about it a lot before the start of the new year, and luckily we're not hearing quite as much about it now. Tim Bardo's president and CEO of Baptist Health here now. Talk about what it means, though, for seniors. How about it, Tim? Well, Liz, uh, in a nutshell, basically back in August of 2011, when Congress and the president uh, couldn't reach a deal on the federal debt, they passed a law that we would require major reductions to lower the federal deficit. Now, this would have uh, triggered automatic tax increases for most Americans and would have cut into uh, entitlements for seniors and that this would have taken effect on January 1st of this year. All right, well, what, what would that have done to the seniors? Well, first of all, we know that they reached a resolution, so that, that didn't happen. But had it passed, it would have, had they not reached a res resolution, it would have meant less access to doctors for Medicare beneficiaries, limits on therapy services, cuts to senior housing and aging services, and higher income taxes for the majority of Americans. Well, we know that there are going to be other big budget debates coming up fairly soon. What other impacts are they likely to have on seniors? Well, you're absolutely right. This is a temporary fix. It's really only good for two months. The federal debt limit must be increased in February or March. There's going to be a lot of debate about this, and bigger changes to Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security may be considered. Stay tuned to Six on Seniors, so we're going to give you the latest on what's being proposed and certainly what the final outcome is. All right. Thank you very much, Thanks. Tim. And uh, if you'd like to reach out to Tim or to Baptist Health, you can suggest a topic if you'd like. Call 370-4700 or on the web. It's BaptHealth.com.